So one could say I went a little crazy and there's like one more thing back there. It's I know, this is, a, this is a lot of stuff. Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is a Michaels grab bag. So I love doing these because these are like little mystery boxes that are super duper affordable. If you don't know what Michaels grab bags are, basically what Michaels does is at the end of every major season or holiday, they take all of their clearance merchandise and they put it into bags or boxes. They put a few items in here and they value it at four bucks. Not all stores participate and not all stores participate at the same time. I would highly recommend that you call your store. But if you go to Michaels frequently and you notice that their stuff is already like on the 80% clearance, then soon enough, the grab bags are definitely coming. So before I go on a scavenger hunt, I always call and they're always nice enough to tell me, no, it's not here or no, maybe next week. So that's how I scored these. So I can't wait to open it and get started. This one is the heaviest one. So we are going to start with this one. And I can already tell it's some of their metal signs. So maybe it's Halloween, maybe it's not. Ugh. Okay. So already I can tell, yay! So I got the flea market sign. This is originally 20 US, 30 Canadian. I've been eyeing the sign for a while and it was even on clearance and I missed it when it was on clearance. Somebody scooped it up. So now I have my little flea market sign. I'm super duper psyched. The next item is Trick or treat bags. So these have 24, they're originally five US, eight Canadian, and that's pretty cute, especially for Aria. Once she goes to school and starts to have to make little treat bags. I got sandalwood and vanilla wax melts, and I always use wax melts, so that's awesome. Four US, five Canadian. It smells like weird soap but that's better than a lot of other smells, so <clears throat> I won't complain about that. Yay! So I have this Welcome Friends giant mason jar, and this was 10 US, 14 Canadian. I do remember seeing this on shelves for part of their like uh, autumn stuff. So I'm actually surprised to see that in here because that was pretty quick that they just took everything off. So I actually have two of these and they're nice and thick. So to recreate something like paint over this if you don't like it, that would be a really cool idea. By the way, if you didn't see my last Michael's grab bag, a month later I ended up taking a lot of the items that I found in my grab bag and I ended up recreating them to stuff that fit my decor. So kind of like a Michael's grab bag challenge. It was f suggested by a subscriber and thank you so much because I actually made two of those videos. I'll link them below. So whatever I don't use, I will donate or I will see if maybe I'll do another Michael's grab bag challenge. So turn on those notifications if you want to see that. So the next item is this incredibly blessed sign, 10 US, 14 Canadian. And I really do love how these are much sturdier than what I got last time. Last time I got a bunch of like the boho decor and it was really, really flimsy. Even though this isn't real wood, it is a lot thicker. So here we have these items and then the rest of the box, you can tell is just repeats. So I got the other, this is so cute. Dia de los Muertos guitar, 15 Canadian, 10 US. The Creatology stuff is always so freaking adorable. So, oh, they're not repeats. Okay, great. So then I have a Venus flytrap. Oh, this is so cute. A fortune teller. Um, all right, now they're repeats. Let's see. Oh, I have a spooky dog. So I guess these are just like little felt you can just put together. This would be really cute next year for a little Halloween display on my table. I do have a lot of repeats. The rest of them are just Venus fly traps. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have ten of those. So already you can tell this box is pretty 
worth it. Like the retail price for it. Am I going to use all of these? No, these are definitely going to be donated. I always send stuff over to my sister um, so that she can have little prizes when she does her cardio fitness. Uh, if you live in the Lyndhurst, New Jersey area, check out Beach House Nutrition. I'll leave the information below. But she does cardio drumming for kids and Zumba, and I believe it's free as long as like you buy a shake or whatever. It is so much fun. Aria loves it so much. So I'm gonna take over a bunch of stuff so she can do some crafts with the kids and then the rest will be donated. So let's move on to the next box. So this one's packed. Yay, Halloween stuff. I'm actually really surprised that they boxed Halloween stuff so quickly. So the first thing is this grave mound fabric. So I guess you just kind of put this over your, your floor just so it looks like you have a little grave thing going on and it does bring a few things like stakes. The skull is not included. They had to add that in there. And this one doesn't have a price, so I'll look it up online. Next thing is this giant wiggly eye. $4 US, 6 Canadian. And these they sell at Dollar Tree, but still a really cool find. There are a ton of these. I have a ton of treat bags and they're not in any type of Halloween shape or anything. So this can be used for anything if you have an event coming up and these are three US for I have eight of these. I have a ton of this ribbon, five US, no Canadian price. And then I have more of these creatology things. So I have a pumpkin alley. This looks really, really fun to put together. So I have this one. I have a monster house. How cute is that? Um, I have repeats of the pumpkin alley. And then I have a Dia de los Muertos one, which is super cute. So 20 bucks, 30 Canadian. I do have another one and in this box they snuck more of these treat bags but these are in the shape of a hand so they are five us eight canadian i have nine of these so they really stocked up i'm not gonna lie when i saw these boxes i was really hoping that one of them would have one of the giant skeletons or some of the fortune teller stuff because that's what i really wanted and i didn't even see the fortune teller stuff in clearance so moving on to the next box, and this one is pretty packed. <laughs> as soon as you open it, some costumes pop up. So I have my little kid's tail. This is a dinosaur tail. This is actually a really, really sturdy thing. 10 US, 15 Canadian, and there's two in here. Then I have a shark. Aria's gonna love this. She already has a baby shark tail. So this is 10 US, 15 Canadian. I have two of these and this one looks smaller, is it? No, it's not. So now baby shark, mama shark. One of these little things, these are 150, 250 Canadian. And this is just fun. A little bow, 10 US, 12 Canadian. A little bat set, which is 15 Canadian. Why aren't they, why are they switching up the prices? This just has a Canadian price. So this, oh, because they ripped it off. This one is 10 US. So instead of going piece by piece, I'm just gonna count how many costumes are in here because if not, this is gonna be a 40 minute long video. So how cute. I will be putting close-ups on the screen of everything, or at least I'll try to. Oh my goodness, look at this mermaid tail. This is going to be so much fun. So this is all costumes, costumes and headbands. Ooh, I got a little coffin. This coffin is $3 and it's, it's made of wood, so that's pretty nice. Let me see what else is in a costume. Oh, I got this really cool necklace with a spider on it. Six US, nine Canadian. Costume. They stuck some, some more bracelets. I got 
This is labeled Christmas and they stuck it in there. Yay! I guess I can see why they would label it, like why they would stick it in a Halloween box, but this is labeled Christmas Noel. So either this was an accident or I just got some in-season stuff in my grab bag. There is still more stuff in here. They really did stock this up to the brim. I got a little skirt. Oh my goodness, how cute. There are so many bigger costumes that you can create with all of the things that they included in here. And then they gave me a little Christmas Noel DIY wood ornament. This is also a Christmas item in the shape of a cat and I guess they just kind of stuffed it in here. Moving on to the next box. We have more costumes. I'm just gonna rummage through it. Oh, this one's a lot neater. So these are just costumes. These are just this, another shark costume, a mermaid one. I'll tally up everything that's in here. If it's something that I haven't already shown on screen, I'll hold it up. But it just seems like a lot of the same costume over and over and over again, which is fine because this is all gonna be donated or and given to my sister for like a little area. One more box. <clears throat> I got a leaving, leaves, leaving. Leaves are falling and all, autumn is calling sign. So that's really nice, 10 US, 14 Canadian. And this is why I made this face. I wanted that dang flea market sign so bad that Michaels listened and gave me a whole box full of flea market signs. So I am now the proud owner of one, two, owner of 10 flea market signs. Y'all, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like my mind is turning and I'm like, you can turn this into so many things and I just might. And then my, the rest of me, the logical me is just like, girl, just donate it. Just give it away. Just donate it. So we have one more item and one of my Michaels likes to just grab bag one single item and geez. And this time around they had these. This was the only one that still worked. So how cool is this? This is originally $20 and I got it for four. On clearance, it probably would have cost the same. So this is really cool. I really do love it. I wish the other ones that they had would have worked. But either way, for four bucks, this is really cool. And I think that I'm all set for Halloween. I say that after every grab bag. And who knows, maybe I will make another DIY challenge using this. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Call your Michaels, don't just show up. Call your Michaels, ask if they have grab bags. And if you don't see them at the front of the store, always go to the back where framing is, always go to where clearance is. Sometimes they put them in end caps. They hide those suckers sometimes, so just make sure that you walk around your store and that you ask. Usually the associates are really nice. So thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will hopefully see you on the next one.